If I can see a movie about a boat sinking, and then you sneak in and you see some some movies, I'm like, okay, this is a win. This is a classic movie. So it's time to try and remember some movies. That's that movie? I have no idea what's going on. I'm just talking away. I'm scared. This is gonna be a long story short. Wait, hold on. Scream was the one. I'm thinking a scary movie. Sh which one was Scream again? Naomi Campbell? Is that her name, Naomi Campbell? No, it's not Naomi Campbell. <laughs> Nev Campbell? Maybe they're distant relatives or something. No? Okay. I think Jennifer Love Hewitt is on this movie. What's his name? David. David. David, you know him. David Arquette. And Drew Barrymore. Hello, Drew Barrymore. Iconic. I think it's a wig. Iconic blonde wig. I think she sports it quite well. The very first scene, Drew Barrymore gets killed. Usually the main character you think is Drew Barrymore, like she's not gonna die. The black dude was supposed to get killed in the first five minutes, so that probably upset people like, what the hell, why didn't Brandy die? Was, Brandy wasn't in that, or oh, was that? I know what you did last summer. They're the same movie to me. So the killer, like, he was sick and twisted because he would call you on your phone. She gets a call on like the, like a brick, like I guess it's a phone, but it's like the biggest thing I've ever seen. Like, Hello. So what's your favorite scary movie? Do you like scary movies? It was crazy, my voice is so deep. I don't even have to change my voice. Maybe it was me. Minutes wasn't even free back then, so if you call my cell phone, unless you tried to kill me after nine, it wasn't gonna happen. Ghostface Killer, and not Ghostface the Rapper, is running around town with this white mask that looks like melted brie, okay? It looks like a Halloween mask that you got from like Party City, and your mom was putting, bringing groceries in the house, and she left it on the stove and it melted. And she just said, go ahead, just go wear the mask. In the end, it turns out to be Nev Campbell's boyfriend. Plot twist of all life. I remember being gagged. Your boyfriend is capable of being a serial killer. And that's something that we don't think about, you know? We're too busy looking at like astrology compatibility. I don't care if he's a Pisces rising, he could be a serial killer son, you know? The characters are referencing other scary movies and how dumb the victims are in the scary movies, but then they themselves are walking into the same track. It's like, have you not realized when a killer is behind you? Like, can you really be that dumb to not realize a killer's right? But like, run, bitch. <laughs> Yes, I do know Twilight. People like got their lives together to go to the midnight premiere and it was just like obsessed. I know it's the movie about the ashy guy and the guy that doesn't have a shirt and they're like madly in love with the girl. It reminded me like of the Halloween version of Dawson's Creek. Wasn't there two like dudes that fell in love with a girl in Dawson's Creek? They were like a Dawson, or was Dawson a guy? I don't know. Um. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, I, yeah. Bella meets Edward, she's a regular gal, okay? And uh, Edward is this hot vampire. She like, thought he was weird, and I guess she loved that because she's weird. One whiff, and Edward's like, boink! The vampire penis is erect. Then you throw in the mix, Jacob, he's a werewolf. Big canine energy. Jacob's in love with her in like the uh way, and she's in love with Jacob in the uh way. I'm team Jacob personally, because I love a hairy man. Um, I want to be able to find it. You know what I mean? Like, give me a challenge. She's like Googled the town and it has like a history of vampires. And so she's like, Period, Edward's a vampire. They're in a forest, okay? The tallest trees you've ever seen. It's always in the woods. Like, they don't have a house. Do they have houses in, in, in Twilight? Or they just live in the woods? Bella says, are you a vampire? Just be straight up, homie. Like, it's like so sexual and crazy. Like, say it. And she's like, a vampire. He's like, yeah, I'm a vampire. W-Y-D. Edward says something about like, hop on spider monkey. <laughs> They just shoot straight up to the tree. So he ends up biting her, she becomes a vampire. But yeah, they end up together and um, they have a a CGI baby called Renesme that literally looks like one of the frogs in Dumbelina. Very far apart features. Lots of stuff happened, but that's basically the premise. And it happened at night, that's why it was called Twilight. Like it's crazy. That is so weird. <laughs> American Pie, that's the that's the pie fucking movie, right? Is there other parts of the movie? Do they do other things in it? American Pie, four dudes in high school. They want to lose their virginities. All of them are like idiots. 
friends have a pact to have sex by the end of the school year, I think. There's a there's a guy in there, Jason Jason Statham. Was it Ashton Kutcher or no? Jason Jason Beekman? Bakeman? No. There's a Jason in this movie. Why did I feel like it was Ashton Kutcher? Who was it? Biggs! Jason Biggs, that's who it is. Ugh, Lord, having sex with a pie. Then you gotta wash it. And then now you got pie in your shower. You can't explain that. We have a redhead girl, right? Who's Jason Biggs' lover, Allison Hannigan. How I met your Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And she went to band camp. She's sticking flutes up her c before Lizzo was doing it on stage, you know? When someone's getting into a crazy story, like, they still refer to that line. Like, this one time at band camp. This movie's just about having sex with inanimate objects. Like, that's weird. It's all um, based on the sex and alcohol obsessed culture of the American teenager. And if you think about it, it's really a documentary and a timepiece. The moral of the movie is, if you can't find a man, you can always use your hand. And if you can't find a girl that's fly, you can always bang an apple pie. That's in it. I'm like, this time they're not gonna hit the iceberg. He's gonna see it. It's a mountain of ice. It's a mountain of ice. So they're on this boat and it's iconic because you know, at the time, there weren't that many boats. People are like, oh my God, I've never seen something so big. Rose had lots of shmoney, so she was running around doing shmoney and fancy people things. She had a fiance who was kind of a dick. And Jack, I think he was either working, I think he was working on the boat. Jack was on the boat because he won a ticket. I'm the king of the world. Ah! Adrian! Oh wait, that's a different movie. I feel like every idiot in the world, anytime they ever got on a boat, like myself, and we're like, ah, oh, I'm on a boat, I don't know how to act. You go to the edge of the boat and you scream, I'm the king of the world. I actually did it once. The ocean took my phone. That's how Rose felt in the moment when, when her and Jack lost hands. I was like, I'll never let go. He and Rose had a romance, a forbidden romance. They showed the girls titties. Jack. Don't post this on Instagram. But, you know, I realized that wasn't back, out there back then. The truth is, it's never left me. I mean, every time I do an interview, someone asks me about it. The iceberg hits the Titanic, it starts to go down. They were getting the rich people off first. So, you know, Rose was good. Cut to Jack and Rose, okay? They're on this little piece of wood that feels like it's tiny, but it was actually pretty big, okay? It could have fit like all three Jonas Brothers. So Leonardo had to hold on. He just floated away and died. I'll never let go. I'll never let go. But the bitch let go. You didn't even try to hold me. I would have I'd have literally used my last energy to swim back up there and be like, why did you say that? I was, I suppose I was submerged in the ice a lot more, but look, it was a team effort. We all knew what we were getting into. See? I told you. Sure. We shortened the story. It would have been a lot longer, but. I mean, that's how I remember it. But things are a little fuzzy. You don't have to watch it anymore because that's exactly what happened, so. You're welcome. <laughs>